Pinpoint weather alert continues on this Wednesday morning. Temperatures already in the 80s, 815 in the morning, and they're going to get in the 90s to the 90s, above the 90 degree mark into the 90s. All you know what I'm things. trying to say, yeah. right? You <laughs> got it. We're back in the 90s again today, the third day in a row. So we'd make okay. it an official heat wave, Patrick. It'll be the third but final day where we're expecting to see temperatures in the 90s back by the weekend. We have a couple of days where we're lucky to see highs in the 70s. Ugh. I think no. I'll take 90s. I'm, I'm kind of with you for the 4th it's of a, July. Yeah, this is not good. Turn up the heat, please. <laughs> We've got temperatures right now that are already on their way into the 80s in Marikansa Beach. People are already headed there. Our live camera in Providence showing that hazy sunshine leading off our uh, three key things here in our threat tracker with an elevated threat level here. We are not only hot and humid, but adding into that today, the threat of a thunderstorm. So there's a heat advisory till 7, air quality alert due to high ground level ozone concentrations and a thunderstorm threat by the end of the day. Thursday, concern about some heavy downpours along with those showers and thunderstorms that we're tracking and Friday's no picnic either. Unfortunately, cloudy, cool with a threat of some showers and still the risk of some of those being heavy at times. There's one last quarter again on those three key things. We are trending cooler as we mentioned, so we've got that to look forward to. This is not your kind of weather. 81 currently outside in Taunton, 82 in Providence and middle to upper 70s at the coastline add in the humidity already seeing that heat index at 87 degrees in Providence. Our next hour likely to be into the 90s already for the feel like temperature dew points. They're in the lower to middle 70s. It's that sultry air that's going to stick with us. Even as the heat starts to subside tomorrow, we're going to see very high humidity continuing today. 87 by 10 a.m. Temperatures by noon in the lower 90s in the second half of the day, mid 90s for highs. It looks quiet for a lot of the day, but towards the evening is when we've got to be on the lookout for that strong thunderstorm. Here's a heat index forecast 102 at noon in Providence, feeling like 103 in New Bedford, 100 degrees in Smithfield, and even at the coastline going to be a warm day, but you do get the benefit of that cooling breeze off the water. Still in the late afternoon, we're going to have that heat index up near the upper 90s and lower 100. So the beaches today, much better. You get that nice ocean breeze, 82 degrees, partly sunny, humid with a low rip current risk. Water temperatures up to 69 degrees. On the bay, visibility one to uh, three to five miles rather in the hazy sunshine. Any evening thunderstorms certainly could drop the visibility down and make conditions out on the bay dangerous. High tides 130 this afternoon. We had a low tide 630 this morning. So this will act as the focus point for some isolated thunderstorms today. Better chance for showers and thunderstorms as this whole frontal system gradually works our way tomorrow and on Friday, eventually working offshore, but it may stall there for a couple of days, which is why we'll keep the threat of some showers going into the weekend. So our severest thunderstorm threat highest over interior parts of Massachusetts. Let's walk you through the forecast. This is three in the afternoon. You see those storms starting to the north and west of us and then shifting south and east. Timing wise, it would bring it in in the evening for southeast New England as the sun goes down and those storms hit the more stable air mass down near the coastline. Those would tend to weaken out. So looking at uh, lingering showers, hours overnight tonight and then tomorrow the threat of scattered showers and extra clouds especially again towards the end of the day here's the seven day forecast I've been hitting at it. That temperature change pretty significant going from 95 today to the upper 60s and low 70s Friday and on Saturday. Can't rule out a couple of showers over the weekend, but the chances of seeing them going down from Saturday to Sunday and then Sunday to Monday. So right now the best day of the long weekend looks to be Monday with highs near 80 and mainly dry conditions. 